Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is the Rake M875 TZ. This is one of Rake's premium model knives. Now, I've been wanting to get more Rakes on the channel, especially some of their premium knives. Now, I did recently get the D191. Very, very impressive with this knife. This knife is a really, really good knife. Now, it is only an 8CR steel, so that's kind of, it's only a $25 knife, so I can't really complain. That's a good steal for $25. Bucks. The action's fantastic on this knife. The Ergos, this is a really good knife. And I'm going to link everything I possibly can down in the description. This knife is a little bit more money though this one's about 125 ish right around there and you're getting a titanium frame lock very nice milling carbon fiber inlay and we have titanium milled pocket clip and the beta lock what does the beta lock do so the beta lock you click it in and it stops you from being able to unlock the knife so if you are going to do some harder use tasks and you don't want the possibility of your knife failing on you, you can, you know, click that button. Now, this is just a first impressions unboxing. So I, I just opened this thing up. Um, so, you know, it's, it is fresh out of the box. This is not a review. Great action. It is on ceramic bearings. It looks like plastic caged ceramic bearings and an internal stop pin, which is really good. That's going to help with any side to side play. It is very solid, very, very solid. I'm happy to see that the lock bar access is really good as well. They did give you a good cutout and they chamfered it. So really nice access, very smooth on the drop. And I can tell it's just going to get smoother and smoother. Now, the, the finish on the blade is a bead blasted finish. And this is N690 steel. N690 steel is a mid-grade steel. So it's not quite a super steel. But for the price of $125, you're getting a titanium frame lock N690 steel. I think that's pretty decent. Um, and... It is, I want to say my kind of knife, and I, I mean that in a way that uh, the profile, now I haven't tested or anything like that, but I really like neutral ergos. I really like neutral ergos, and this does give you neutral ergos. We have a beautiful drop point blade. It does have a good grind on it, so it is going to be plenty slicey. Good ergos. Um It looks like we have hexagon bits instead of torx here. Yeah, so we have a hex. So it looks like about a number three, I would guess. Uh, these are very common. I, I'd rather see um, torque bits instead of hexagon bits. But hexagon, there's nothing wrong with them. They're very common, so very easy to get. And they'll they'll fit in your, the same driver as your torx bit. But... Um, you know, if you get the bits, but yeah, it looks like a number three. I'm not positive on that. Don't quote me, but yeah, very, very cool. I do. Uh, I do like it. I like the swedge up top. We got some, uh, a nice reinforced tip. So it's going to be plenty tough. Nice swedge. We have some nice jimping on the spine for some grip. Let's check out this choil. So off the bat, it looks like it hits the edge. It does look like the plunge grind goes down to the edge. It's actually deceiving. I think it actually goes to only to right here. And from here to here is what you can sharpen off. Because if you look at it, when I play with the light, you can actually see. Uh, let's see if we can get this pop up. You can actually see right where it actually is. Right there. It looks like it goes to the to the edge, but it's deceiving. Um, I, I think it's just fine. I think it's actually the first one. Nice detent. Now the flipper tab doesn't have any jimping. It is a little slippery, but the detent isn't like crazy strong or anything, so no problems with that. Very, very smooth. 
yeah i'm liking it i think it's pretty cool we do have a titanium backspacer pretty awesome so i will be testing this thing out we do have oh we do have a steel lock bar insert and then the the beta lock acts as an over travel stop so you're not going to unspring the lock good tension on the lock steel lock bar insert so it is going to lock up on steel on steel not on titanium that's pretty cool um, I don't mind titanium on steel, but I want the lock bar to at least be carbonized. But in this case, we don't have to worry about it because we have a steel lock bar insert. So that's awesome. So we will be testing this thing out and seeing how it does. But I am going to link this down in the description. Um, anytime you guys use our Amazon affiliate links, it does help the channel and I do appreciate it. I'm also going to link Rake's page down there so you guys can check out other Rake models and I do want to thank Rake for sending this knife for us to check out. I really do appreciate it. And the review will be coming soon. All right, guys. Peace.